just complimented just how hard you practice. Has that always been kind of part of your something you've been known for? Going yeah. Um, I mean, I've been a part of a lot of a lot of hard, uh, high effort teams. Um, so competition, uh, you got to play hard if you want to play. So that's kind of been some as even at Miami, Ohio, we we all played hard. So to get on the field, you got you got to play extra hard. So. What's what's I guess been the the goal as far as NFL aspirations, and how can this this stop help you in, in terms of that goal? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm trying to play football as long as I can. So um, just trying to go out there this year, have a great year, uh, have my best year yet, and uh, see what kind of doors that opens up for me. What's the biggest change in the competition level that you've noticed so far, if if there's any? Uh, I definitely say speed of the game. Um, I say the linemen are a lot faster here. Okay. Um, a little bit stronger. Um, but I mean, all linemen are big at, at every level. It's just more so speed and strength. Even, even though you're one of the newer guys, do you feel any sense of like being a leader and showing some of the other guys, kind of setting that tone? I mean, a little bit. Uh, just set by example, really. Um, come in here, know the plays, uh, do your job. Don't be late for anything. Don't don't miss anything. So, as far as that, uh, yeah. To, to climb to the top of the depth chart this quickly, I had to learn a playbook throughout the summer. Uh, what was your, your plan there, and, and how did you get caught up to, to speed so that you could you could have a good training camp? For this yeah, um, during the summer, me and my roommate uh, Paul Kira, we had we had classes all summer. Okay. So we go to class, uh, we come to the facility after class, uh, just go through, watch some tape, uh, meet with Coach Slade, Coach Downing, um, and Coach Coy, um, get the playbook, go through it, and just study it at night. Really. How do you feel about the way you fit in this scheme? I like it a lot. Um, I feel like the scheme allows all of our DNs and bandits to, to go out and make plays, uh, play fast, and show up in different looks. Sometimes we're in a three or four eye. Sometimes we're on edge in a wide nine. So I think it gives us a lot of versatility uh, to do the things that we're all good at. That, that for you is rushing the passer? Uh, rushing the passer, I mean, <laughs> whatever coach asks, I, I try to do uh, with my best effort and try to make a play. So. When did you realize you were, you were a pretty good pass rusher at, at Miami, Ohio? You know, um, I was always on. So when I when I first got to Miami, I only played three tech. Okay. So I was in there to stop the run, stop the run, <laughs> and then play third down as as a rush uh, tackle. So ever since my freshman year, I knew I had something. It was either high motor, um, good hands, whatever it was. But yeah, ever since I got to Miami, that they kept pushing me to get on the field on third down, make a move, and just do whatever I got to do to get the quarterback. Is that? That being a leader, is that something that kind of comes naturally to you or something you've had to work on? Um, I, I, like as a UVA receiver, I haven't always had to um, play that leader role um, because we had guys like uh, Terrell and Hayden um, in my years here. So just watching them, um, it helped me out a lot, just learning from them, seeing what they was doing, um, not even being like a, a more of a talker, just leading with by example um watching them lead through everything they did about like off the field and on the field so that helped me out a lot um to be able to lead these guys um into the season we finna have can you feel yourself like saying something or maybe doing something that you're like oh yeah like trail used to do this or mitchell used to do this can you ever feel anything like that um yeah just i feel like just energy talking on the sideline um bringing the group up you know, target target to the group before practice, after practice, um, just giving them a few words of, of wisdom, like letting them know how I feel, um, so that we could come out better tomorrow, tomorrow practice. As a receiver, how do you think over the summer, the off season, now these first couple of practices, how do you think you've been able to build off of last year? Um, just starting from January, like the end of the season, it was all work. Um, everybody on the team, we 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 brought in. Like then to uh, to be able to have what we what we want this season. I'm um, just working from that point on to now, um, and we still building. So, was it a challenge at all? With <clears throat> new coaches, new schemes, but you're still here. Brennan's still here. Was it a challenge at all to find that rhythm again, or did you guys find it again pretty quickly? Um, I mean, it, it's 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 not really a challenge, but just like learning new stuff and um. Having to like put it on, put it to play, um, quick, 
it was it was a little bit of a challenge, but like adapted to it, um, learning everything, um, and just playing, going out and playing fast. Uh, that's that's helping us. How do you feel about this? Uh, I feel good. I feel like I feel like we have what it takes um, to be a great team. Um, just playing on side of each other, um, helping each other out every every practice, every game.